Hey guys, this is Dr. David Song at Rehab Hero, and today we're going to go over some soft tissue uh, mobilization techniques. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how do you use a massage ball or a foam roller to target your leg. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. What you'll need is at least one foam roller and at least one massage ball and a seat or a chair or a bench. Anything works. But we'll target going from kind of the lumbar spine through the hips down into your thighs and then into your lower leg, the shin and calf. And then we'll target the feet at last. Okay, so we're going to show you how to loosen up everything from the bottom half of your body. So start off by grabbing that foam roller. And we're going to start by doing the low back here. So you're going to place it just at your lumbar spine. You're going to lean back. You're going to have one leg out. And then you're going to pull one knee towards your chest. And the main focus with uh, foam rolling in today's series is mostly to instigate ischemic compression of the soft tissue, which means we're just going to sustain positions and hold it and appreciate the tension being released out of our muscle as we apply pressure. We're going to hold each position for up to 30 seconds, and then we're going to switch. Now, unlike conventional foam rolling where you're rolling all over the tissue, today we're just going to pin and press uh, different aspects of that tissue in 30 second intervals. So we'll do one or two points here. From here, before, before you alternate legs, just roll down an inch or two, or up, depending on where you started. And hold. Focus on taking deep breaths. Not only be expanding through your abdomen, but you'll be expanding outwards through the back as well, pressing into that foam roller. Good. So you kind of want to continue going creeping upwards until you feel the foam roller against the lower ribs. You feel the ribs that means you've moved into the thoracic spine. You can continue moving up if you feel you need to, but for today's video, we're going to stop there. Next, we're going to start by targeting your gluteus maximus and piriformis muscles. From here, you're going to sit on the foam roller. You're going to keep one foot planted, bring your other foot onto the knee, okay? You're going to bring one hand to support your body from behind you. You're going to find a nice tender spot and simply hold that position for 30 seconds or so. If you want more of an active release, feel free to move the knee up towards your chest and then back down and you should feel the tension change as you move that hip joint. Good. If you want to do this movement, I usually do about four to six repetitions and then you can roll down or up to find another part. The gluteus maximus muscle is fairly large, so you can find anywhere between three to five areas of tension. Today we're going to do about three. Good, and we're going to roll again. Now this upper area of the buttock will target not only the gluteus maximus, but you also have the posterior fibers of the gluteus medius as well. So if you find that you're more tender here, feel free to find another spot in this upper third of the buttock region. Okay, and we're going to switch sides. So switch, plant that first foot down, alternate leg positions, support your body with your hand, and hold. So again, you can just hold this for 30 seconds. Really appreciate the tension. And what you should notice is that over this 30 second, second period, the tension, so that you experience at the foam roller should slowly decrease. I typically find that at the 20 second mark, um, if the tension intensity initially was a six or seven out of 10, but by 20 seconds, it drops down to a one or a two, at which point you can move on. So let's roll down now, find another point and just hold. Now key note with um, soft tissue mobilization is that you're not overdoing it. The goal is not to beat the muscle up to a pummel, uh, to 
pummel it away at it. We, we don't want to beat it up. We're just trying to encourage and facilitate. And let's roll again to another spot here. Uh, we're just trying to facilitate a chain of events to help us recover. Okay. And that wraps up the buttock. Now we're going to go to the lateral hip. Here we have a few spots. We have your gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, and TFL. So we're going to start by going on your side, directly on the foam roller. You're going to have your elbow supporting your body, the other leg in front, the top leg in front, and then the bottom leg you're going to have straight down. Now I like to start from what's called your iliac crest, which is the top rim of your pelvic bowl. And you're just going to roll directly down until you find a tender spot, okay? From there, we're just going to hold it for about 30 seconds. Now some people have a really tender gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, or TFL muscle may experience some referral pain down to the thigh, out, outer thigh, outer shin, and even into the foot. So due to the orientation of the fibers, we're going to start by being completely horizontal to the foam roller perpendicular I should say and after about 20 seconds or so you're just going to roll forward a bit on an angle okay you are going to hold on to this so this will help to target more of your gluteus minimus fibers you're going to hold that and then after another 20 seconds we're going to roll over a little bit more to get that anterior hip so this is more of a 30 to 45 degree angle. You know, of course this all depends on the shape of your thigh and hip. Good, and then we're going to switch sides, okay? So switching sides, support your body with your elbow, place a foam roller right underneath that pelvic bone, roll it down until you get to the soft tissues support your body with your other leg. You can use this leg uh, to either put more body weight onto the foam roller or less. Um, this will help with the intensity. And again, the intensity shouldn't be very high when you're foam rolling. It should be roughly a five to six out of 10 intensity. This is all dependent on your subjective feelings. Next, we'll target the large muscle of the quadriceps. Uh, from here, we're going to do this in a few stages. The setup is going to be the foam roller is on one thigh. You're going to go on both elbows, the other leg propped up right next to you. And this is mostly for to balance out how much weight you put on. Starting right from what's called your, your, from your pelvis, you're going to roll off the bone there. And then you're going to get into the superior fibers. And you're going to find a tender spot, and then you're just going to simply hold that for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds, or at least until the tension decreases. If you want a more active release, you can also bend and knee back and forth, in which case I typically do anywhere between, again, four to six repetitions. another tender point, uh, point. We're gonna hold that. And again, if you wanna do a few knee bends, you can. Since the quadriceps muscle group is fairly large, you can find anywhere between four to six different points, way down now again, uh, of tension. 
attention and just kind of target that area. You should feel the muscle relax underneath the pressure over time as it approaches that 20 to 30 second mark. If you find that the intensity is a little too high, just shift your weight onto your, on, onto your other leg. You can shift it by using your arms and propping away from the leg or you can increase it by shifting your weight onto the leg, right? Depend and this is all depending on how you feel during the foam rolling process. And we're going to roll down a little bit more. We should be pretty close to the knee at this point. This area tends to be an area of tension for a lot of people with knee issues. We're just going to hold. Start right where this pelvic hip bone kind of ends. Place a foam roller just below it. You're gonna roll off that bone. Other leg propped up and compress. So notice I'm at the edge of the foam roller at this point. This is so that the foam roller does not get in the way of my other thigh. Uh, just for my weight. seconds we're once again going to roll down a little further down that leg two or three inches down it really depends on where you feel tension if your quads don't feel much tension at all or if any of these muscles don't feel much tension at all feel free to skip them and then we're going to roll down again another area of tension and hold And these exercises are best done on a thick gym mat. If you don't have a gym mat, a yoga mat is a great alternative or carpeted flooring, just so that your knees and elbows don't get sore from leaning your body weight on a hard surface. And let's roll it down to another position. And hold and focus on your breathing. And once again, you can do a few knee bends if This point, this is where we're going to need a chair available to us and the massage ball. A hard seated chair is preferable over a cushioned seat just because the ball, when we sit on it, will kind of sink into the cushion. So if you want a more effective massage, use a hard seat. From here, we're going to take that ball, we're going to take a seat, and we're going to just start right from where our buttock ends, and then we're going to move towards the knee. Take that ball, place it underneath, and from here, just feel the muscle, uh, feel that, experience that tension. Once again, we're only going to hold each point for 20 to 30 seconds, and if you want, you can do an active maneuver by just extending the knee slowly, and then later drop down. So for the hamstrings, I do prefer to do the active component. I find that I get a much more relaxed muscle following these knee bends or knee extensions and after about four or five kicks once again we'll move the ball down about two or three inches find another area of tension and then go again now both the quads and the hamstrings are large muscles with the flies so you can play around with the ball placement it doesn't have to be in the center of your hamstring it could be more towards the outside or more towards the inside depending on which area you feel the most tension. And we're going to roll that ball down another two or three inches. We should be about mid-thigh right now. Once again, keep going. 
that this uh, area of tension closer to the knee will split further and further apart. That's because the muscle tends to insert either very medially or laterally on the knee. So kind of at this midpoint, you can then decide if you want to go more towards the outside like I am right now, or more towards the inside. I'm gonna do a few more kicks here. Nice and slow, it's not a race. Just appreciating the muscle, getting massaged out. Finally, we're going to do one more squat, closer down to the knee. Once again, extend across the knee. One or two more repetitions, and then we'll switch sides. I generally recommend doing both sides. Even if you have issues on one side, So now the ball is placed underneath my left hamstring, right at the gluteal crease or where the bottom cheek ends. To get nice and easy. If you find that putting your whole weight onto the ball is too much, feel free to shift your body weight onto the under, uh, onto the relaxed thigh. You can also lean back further away versus leaning in towards the ball. Lean towards the ball will cause more tension as the hamstring will be in a larger stretched position. Do a few more kicks here. And let's roll the ball down another two or three inches. We're about mid-thigh at this point. Once again, if this 
isn't an area of tension for you, feel free to skip it. Any of these exercises aren't necessary to do. And you can also choose to do this in any order of your choosing. We're just going top down to kind of release all the tissues, starting from our back, down the thigh and hips, down the lower leg or the shank.
So this exercise can be done standing. You're going to take that ball. You're going to start at the ball of your big toe. And you're going to just step into it. Now you can do a bit of an active release once again by moving your toe downwards and then moving it upwards. This will cause the plantar fascia to loosen up and then to tense up. You can find another location after about five to six repetitions of each or after a 20 to 30 second hold. Okay. If you want, you can simply just stand and hold the position as well. So we're going for ischemic compressions here. We're not going for surface level rolling. We're going deep into the muscle by sustaining that compression. Once you're about halfway into the foot, as we move into the back of the foot, you'll plant the front of your foot and then step down with the heel lifted. Okay? And this is so that we can position your foot to target the, the hind foot. Getting closer to the heel. We hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds and then we'll switch sides. Okay? So once again, we'll start heel planted, toes raised right at the balls of your feet. You wanna lean your weight into it, or you can continue to move your toes up and down nice and slow to get an active stretch or contraction of the muscular tissue, the intrinsic foot muscles. Or you can just rest and not move at all. Let's move down another inch. At this point, we're at right at the midfoot. Good. And you can flex your toes. of your foot. It's just to massage them out lightly at a 5 to 6 and then 5 to 10 intensity. Okay, so if you find that you can't tolerate it, just take your weight off the ball by leaning onto your other foot that's planted. And after 20 to 30 seconds, we are done with that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this soft tissue mobilization of the lower limbs. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um, mobility flows or soft tissue, self soft tissue uh, mobilization techniques. If you have a comment, please leave one below. If you have a question, also leave it below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.